Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making chili, and this is one of my favorite fall recipes. So over here, you can come on and see. Come on and see. These are the simple ingredients that we are going to be using for today's video. Over here we have some paprika, that's two tablespoons, and some dark chili powder, that's also two tablespoons, oregano, one tablespoon, garlic powder, two tablespoons, and cumin, two tablespoons. We also have our cup of wine and beef bone broth. We have our crushed tomato, salt and pepper, garlic, and onion. So very simple, we're gonna start off with our oil. Just get a bunch in the pan. We are going to put in our garlic and our onion, and we're just going to saute that for a little bit. So your garlic and onion should be looking like this nice and browned and sauteed just like that and then you just add in your ground beef and you brown that as well okay so before your meat is completely browned this is when i want you to add your seasoning mix Your pepper, and your salt. Again, salt and pepper is to taste. I know some people like things a little bit more saltier than others, so that is totally up to you. going to add your beef stock and your red wine. Also we're going to add in some bay leaves because I love those. All right so now that we cooked off the wine we are going to add in our black beans, our red kidney beans, and our chopped tomatoes. You can use canned tomatoes or chop them fresh yourself. That is totally up to you. And then we are going to add in our crushed tomatoes. like to add in some corn. Your girl loves corn, so we are going to add in the corn. Doesn't matter if it's frozen from a can or fresh, it's all going to cook up very nicely. If you want your chili to be a little more liquidy you could definitely add some more of the bone broth if not and if you like a thicker consistency this is the way to go all right guys so now i'm just going to put this down to a low heat and i'm just going to let it cook up for two hours you can also do this exact same recipe in a crock pot just put it on high for three to four hours or on low for seven eight hours All right guys, so the chili is done and it looks amazing. I'm just taking a little sample because the rice is cooking and me personally, I love, love, love chili over rice. 
So that's what I'm waiting on right now. But I am going to take this little sample for you guys. It is steaming hot. I don't know if you could see, but oh, smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> mm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is just like, you, you have no words for this. For something this good, you just have no words. Mm. I promise you, this is gonna be, I know I say this all the time, that it's gonna be like the best thing you've ever had, but it really is. It really is going to be the best chili you've ever had. And the corn in here just gives it the extra sweetness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really, really, really love this recipe and I know that you guys are going to love it too. So be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and happy fall y'all.